Hi, my name is Eric. I'm here with Expert Village today to talk to you about usage of your iPod with Click Wheel. Now, the iPod, which I have here today to show you, is an iPod photo, which dons magnificent Click Wheel with all in one usage of all the buttons under the actual Click Wheel itself. As you can see, the iPod Click Wheel is touch sensitive. As you move the unit with your finger over directly, it is able to directly respond to the actual movements of your finger across the wheel itself. All of your buttons, for instance, track back and track forward, are available to you by simply depressing the wheel on the right or left side. One of the things that's very interesting about this is that there are alternate features of these buttons as well. The menu button simply acts as a menu back button. One of the things that you can do is if you navigate into the menus, you can push the menu back key to simply return to the top level menu. Once you repress it multiple times, you will get back to the top menu to where it says iPod at the very top. Also, if you hold in the menu key for two seconds, it'll turn off the backlight for you. Hold in for another two seconds, it'll turn it back on. Also, with the play pause key depressed for two seconds, you're able to turn off the unit into standby mode. Simply pushing any of the buttons themselves will go through and bring the iPod out of standby. One of the things to note is the fact that on the very top of the iPod there is a hold switch. When it is white, all of the buttons are active. When it is switched on in red, the buttons on the front of the unit are deactivated and none of the buttons respond to any of the actual physical movement on the actual unit. On behalf of ExpertVillage.com, my name is Eric. Thank you for watching and have a good day.